exactly what we're talking about. So this is not an exercise. The, the certificate's already been signed, and this is the wedding ceremony. So, Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote that love is the highest word, it is a synonym for God. Ernest Holmes wrote, love is a cosmic force whose sweep is irresistible. Ernest Holmes also said that when something is destined for you regardless of where it may be, if it's in the farthest corner of Africa, if it is meant for you, it will find you. Even if it's at the Getty Museum. <laughs> And at first, you can't understand what he's saying because he's mumbling. <laughs> Joanne shared with me that when she first met Gary, he seemed to be mumbling, this guy. She looked at him and she saw this guy who was mumbling. But in fact, he was actually just shy and trying to ask her out. <laughs> now, according to Gary, she was closely examining the irises by Van Gogh. But from the way he talked about Joanne, it was clear that he was closely examining her, because he said that the first thing he saw in this museum of beautiful paintings was her physical beauty. Later on, he would express he would find her kindness, her intelligence, her creativity, and her passion. And Joanne would find Gary's sweet soul and his patience, his spontaneity, clearly, and his sunny disposition. And Joanne's friends kept asking her, is he a keeper? <laughs> to which she says, now let me just say, he's a keeper of my heart. Aww. Clearly they are both here keeping one another's heart. And so here we all are today celebrating this beautiful love. Marriage is not a piece of paper. True marriage is the commitment of soul to soul. True marriage is the law of attraction playing itself out perfectly, finding the space to be the highest expression, the deepest truth, the only thing it knows how to be, a cosmic force whose sweep is irresistible. So today, we celebrate that irresistible sweep as it is embodied here today in the union of Gary and Joanne. And so now, Gary's son, Sean, if you could bring up the reins and hand them out. Give them each others. <laughs> you haven't done this before. <laughs> Thank you, Sean. So on the day of this marriage, you stand somewhat apart from all other human beings in this particular moment. You stand within a charmed circle of your love, and this is as it should be. And so now I ask you, Gary, do you pledge to share your life openly with Joanne, to speak the truth to her in love, to honor and tenderly care for her, to cherish and encourage her growth and fulfillment through all the changes of your life. Yes, I do. Joanne, do you pledge to share your life openly with Gary, to speak the truth to him in love, to honor and tenderly care for him, to cherish and encourage his growth and fulfillment through all the changes of your life. So now you can place the, Karen, could you take this for a second? You can now place this ring as I speak to you. Yeah, maybe you know. Okay, now don't put it all the way on until we're finished. So please repeat after me. Joanne, I give you this ring. Joanne, I give you this ring. As a part of me. As a part of me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. As a sign of my love and faithfulness. In doing this, I take you as my wife. In doing this, I take you as my wife. after me. Gary, I give you this ring. Gary, I give you this ring. As a part of me. As a part of me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love as and faithfulness. In doing this. In doing this. I take you as my husband. So they have chosen a Rumi poem to read here. If I can get the 
tears out of my eyes. <laughs> may these vows and this marriage be blessed. May it be sweet milk, this marriage, like wine and like halva. May this marriage offer fruit and shade like the date palm. May this marriage be full of laughter, our every day a day in paradise. May this marriage be a sign of compassion, a seal of happiness here and hereafter. May this marriage have a fair face and a good name, an omen as welcome as the moon in a clear blue sky. I am out of words to describe how spirit mingles in this marriage. And while Rumi may be out of words, I am not. <laughs> may you love deeply, laugh heartily, practice patience, and smile often. May you dream together, grow, be crazy, give, give in, and trust enough to take. May you see sunrises, listen to rain, and savor special moments. May you rediscover each other, listen carefully, and always, always, have open hearts. And now if you will stand together and face them. As a witness to this declaration of love and truth, I ask you all, please raise your hands in the air towards the couple. Both hands. And now I would like you all to repeat after me. We love you. We love you. We support you. We support you. We are here for you. We are here for you. We are one with you. We are one with you. That's good. Joanne and Gary have come here today to form a union with one another. And in the presence of each of us here today, they have pronounced their love and commitment as they face the world and each other as lovers and partners. And we are all part of this sacred union. You have witnessed love being given freely, friendship being offered unconditionally, and commitment being pledged from the depth of their beings. And so, it is my great privilege to present to you for the first time as husband and wife, by the power vested in me, by the state of California, please give a round of applause to Mr. and Mrs. Gary Ahrens and Joanne Fish.